Boop -ba -boop -boop -boop. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's so sunny today. I can't even tell you how happy I am. This needs to go in the fridge. So as you can see, I am back in the kitchen again. You guys absolutely love it when I'm in the kitchen. I have no idea why, because most of the time it goes a bit awry. Now what we're going to be making today is very quick, very easy. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would without a doubt, no, you would have definitely seen this pop up a few times over my Snapchat. And when it has, people have tweeted me saying, oh my God, what is this? How do I make it? Blah, blah, blah. So today I'm going to show you. Let's call it Mark's Ultimate Pasta Dish. It is one of the only things I pride myself in making in the kitchen. I absolutely love it. It's my go-to snack, go-to food, go-to dinner. Um, as I said, it's very easy, it's very quick, and it tastes freaking amazing. So I'm going to show you step by step of how you can make it and we can have the best pasta party together. So I'm going to quickly go through with you the ingredients that you're going to need. Bearing in mind that you don't have to really stick to this. Some of these ingredients are like, whoa, you're putting that in pasta. Calm down Mark, you pasta criminal. But I swear they taste, it makes it taste amazing. So what you're going to need is some grated, no, grated Italian style cheese. We have some anchovies. I know not everyone's a fan of this, but seriously, oh my God, you have to try it. And put at least two in. Obviously you can put in what you want, like mushrooms or sun-dried tomatoes, whatever you want. I went with sun-dried tomato, garlic and basil pasta sauce. Basil, basil, whatever. Basil the grit mouse detective. I went for some mussels. Another ingredient that you're probably screaming at the screen like, oh, Mark, that's disgusting. No, it's not. It tastes amazing. I've also picked up some red jalapenos, one red onion, some lemonade. No, this needs to go back in the cupboard. How did you get out? And obviously, and obviously the pasta itself. Now I've gone for the stuffed ravioli because, oh my God, this serves two. <laughs> and I've been eating it as one. Okay, uh, this is chicken and chorizo ravioli. I'm absolutely obsessed with stuffed pasta. Like, uh, it's so, so good. So we're going to go with this. I'm so excited. This is like, this is like my speciality. Like, if I was in a relationship, this is what I'd cook. You know what I mean? The utensils that you're gonna need today, a big old spoon, saucepan, and a kettle with boiling water, please. And then you're also gonna need a cooker. <laughs> Ow, step by step, open up your pasta. Like, I can't even tell you how amazing this tastes. I don't know what I was thinking when I created this, like, Oh my god, let's put anchovies, let's put mussels, let's put jalapenos, let's put everything under the sun in this pasta and create the ultimate thing. So I'm going to shove them in there. Absolutely love kitchen time with you guys. Like, like, I do try my hardest, you know, and like, it's not always easy, but we get through it and it's so much fun. So now the kettle has boiled, I'm going to bring you over to the pasta. Just cover it and then just leave that to simmer. Right, I'm gonna cut up the onion now. Oh, sorry. It was a bit hard, wasn't it? Don't, don't try and make it look neat if you don't want to. I certainly don't. <laughs> the next thing you're gonna do is get out your little sieve or whatever you wanna call it. Little pasta drainer, whatever. Take your pasta over to the sink. No, I'm gonna do it just here. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh. And then you're just gonna Answer the doorbell. Hey, it's not what it looks like. Have a nice day. Bye. Someone brought me flowers. I'm joking, it's for my next neighbour. Where can I put these? I'll put them in here. Wish someone would bring me flowers. Now that the pasta is out of water, I'm going to put it back on the hob for like two seconds. Right, now is the fun part. I'm going to start off with putting the onions in. Now this is the bit, I always put too many anchovies in because I'm obsessed. So I'm just gonna put, this one might be gross for some of you, but anchovies are life. Next we're gonna put in the mussels. Next we're gonna put in a few jalapenos to give it a little bit of a kick. Not too many though. Like I said, you can put as much as you want in. Like this is your own signature, you know what I mean? We're gonna bring it back onto the heat and then pour in your sauce. Well, that's thick. Guys, I can't even tell you how amazing this smells. 
Oh God, try not to set the whole bloody house on fire. What's happening? <gasps> Oops. Oh my God. Sorry about that, take you off. <laughs> you didn't make the final cut. I'll clean that up after, don't you worry. I am a clean person. Ta-da! I'm so happy with that. <laughs> so here we go. Mark's signature pasta dish. See what it tastes like. Hmm. Honestly, no word of a lie. I wouldn't lie to you. It is so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up because if you give this video a thumbs up, it lets me know that you want to see more cooking videos from me. Um, please, please let me know if you tried this recipe because it would make me so happy to see you guys testing this out. Let me know what you think. As I said, I know the ingredients are not to everyone's taste, but once you have it, it will change your life. Seriously. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!